Yo, what's up? It's E19D here. Today, we're going to be installing CIOS, D2X CIOS, which is a custom iOS for your Nintendo Wii. Uh, most people use this for stuff like USB Loader GX, which I'll make a tutorial on in the future, and um, installing Multimod, like, Multimod Manager, to, to um, install forwarders and channels um, but this video is just gonna be me installing a uh, custom iOS basically so um, you need the homebrew channel and um, I'll leave a link in the description for that I'll leave a link in the description for this website too um, but let's get on with the video so so just go down here and then click on this and then it will automatically just uh, install it. We'll download it. You're gonna go into your downloads folder. You're gonna click the folder. You're gonna right click and you're gonna click extract all. Extract. Go out of this. You're gonna delete that folder. You're gonna open up this folder. Open up this folder. And then all this stuff right here. Actually, yeah, all this stuff right here. This um, you're gonna enter your SD card right now. So let me just do that. All right, so just copy this folder and then go into your USB drive. Go to your app, well, if you don't have an apps folder, just make a folder called apps, because that's what gets the homebrew channel to um, let you use programs. So just um, paste that folder in. Just wait a second. All right. That is it. Um, that is all the files you need to use for this, and I will see you guys back on the Wii. Uh, so now that you guys are back on your Wii, um... I forgot to mention, you do need an internet connection. Um, if you don't have an internet connection, then um, you cannot do this. But just um, make sure you are connected to the internet. And um, if you are, uh, then let's continue. So, um, first, we're gonna go to um, the Humber channel. Just open that up. And we should see, well, you guys should see a new um, app, uh, D2X CIOS installer, which is the custom iOS installer that we're going to be using in this video. So just um, click it and then click load. Uh, then you should see this screen um, You can just click anybody you can just click any button to continue All right, so now it's gonna bring you to this page um, I mean, This is the tricky part here. Just um follow every move that I do and you guys should be fine But just um make sure you follow all the steps that I'm doing right now. So Just um you're gonna use the d-pad to go up and down so um first for um cios d2 you know see how that says v6 you're gonna change it to make sure it says beta 52 at the end then go down and then for cios base change it to base 56 
then go down, and then keep that the same. And then for CI West Revision, um, change it to 65535. Again, make sure you have all those settings, and then just click A. Click A again. And then it's gonna download the custom iOS. Okay, so once that is finished downloading, um, just click on A, and then um, you're gonna wanna change some stuff here. So just leave this the same, go down to see iOS base, change this to 57, then go down. This time, this time you're gonna change 249 to 250, and then you're gonna go down, you could just leave that the same. So make sure you have all these settings, and then if you do, just press A. Press A again. And it's gonna download the custom iOS. All right, so once that is finished, you can just click A. Now, we're gonna, again, we're not done yet. We have to do one more. So just go to CIOS base, change this to 58. Then go down to the CIOS slot, change this to 251. And then just leave CIOS revision the same. And then again, make sure all the settings, click A. Click A again. Just let it do its thing and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So once that is finished downloading, um, you can just click A. And now, what you're gonna do is just click the B button to exit. It's gonna take a few seconds, so just be patient. Wait a second. Exiting. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. You now have a custom iOS, and now you can feel free to install USB Loader GX, um, WeFlow, um, install custom folders or channels to Nintendo Wii. I'll make a tutorial on Multimod Manager in the future. But um, yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. So just um, leave a like and comment. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.